Okay, so basically I I will use this like NaNoWriMo challenge and this NaNoWriMo um, month slightly differently than it's supposed to be because uh, in NaNoWriMo you're supposed to write like 50,000 words like new novel or, or book whatever it is, right? But I've already started this project that I just never finished and uh, I was thinking about it and um, I just yeah I just want to use this situation to basically get back to my project which is a children's book which is kind of weird for uh, like a 30 year old um, 30 years old man to write a children's book at least I feel like it's a bit weird uh, but basically the first day today and today is the 1st of November 2020 and um, I'm gonna be trying to just sort of go back to go back to first of all that state of mind where I was when I was writing it almost like a year ago in January of 2020 I actually tried to do this and uh, today is gonna be the day when I'm also like reading basically most of the things that I've written already or most of them just little like notes that I that I set myself that I added like you know previously and uh, so yeah this is the this is gonna be the first day and this is gonna be the first like thing that we're doing let me show you okay so we are using Scrivener I'm um, find I found this um, this app like really useful and especially this sort of um, outline mode where you can have your sort of chapters or or this kind of outline mode uh, where you can set your sort of progress and stuff like that which is as you can see like uh, you can set like targets you can see like the progress uh, that you have in in specific chapters and whatnot which is yeah very useful and it's very useful that uh, you can sort of reorganize it also if you want later to kind of switch everything and stuff like that i'm reading right now uh, basically what I've written before in, in chapter two, and uh, I don't know. It's not. It's not even. It's not. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's actually halfway decent. It actually makes me brings me some smile on my on my face, which is so so rare with like anything that that I've like ever done. I don't know. Like, do you know this feeling when? you've written something or you know like maybe created like a music or video or whatever but then like six months later you go watch it and you're like you cringe cringe <laughs> you know um it happened at least it happens to me so often like almost all the time and yeah right now again like two chapters there's not even like two thousand words yet written i guess but it's nowhere near as bad as I expected it to be. The only thing that I don't know whatsoever is what kind of age group this is supposed to be because I am thinking about my protagonist to be about 10, 11 and I've been trying to do some research like what are 10, 11 years old um, young people are like you know and um yeah I, i'm just today is gonna be this whole day of like sort of going back to basically january of this year and trying to again like put back this information that i've you know researched back then again about what kind of habits people children have at this age and whatnot because again i don't have children and neither of like my friend friends or acquaintances or um, or uh, cousins they don't have children of that age yet several of them have like four or five years old and um, yeah and uh, but it's not not the same age so yeah I'm just interested I actually maybe I need to like consult a couple of them to yeah maybe get a glimpse into like psychology of psychology of like uh, children of you know at least like five six years old age some something around that age what they do what they like stuff like that because that probably will be helpful <sighs> once again we're getting into this like territory when i'm trying to 
I'm trying to edit as I am writing and in this case as I am re-reading whatever I've written before I'm trying to edit little things <laughs> and once again I'm having troubles with grammar especially how how you structure dialogue and like if there is like a portion of dialogue then he said and then continuation of dialogue all those like little punctuations and whatnot commas and whatever it is because in russian it's a bit different and even in russian i was not fluent in in the grammar whatsoever because it's actually pretty complicated and now i realize that in english i don't remember any of that <laughs> and so now i have to not only like go through the text um but also I'm trying to like at least have little bits of, and pieces of knowledge kind of put back into my head. So I'm kind of googling how to structure dialogues and like what's the grammar of dialogues and stuff like that, which is a little embarrassing, but yeah, like ideally, you know, if you had if you had an editor, you know, editor would sort of sort out all those things, but. Um, because I don't it's um, yeah it's gonna be like a tough tough job I guess because I really like in English with grammar I'm not good at all uh, um, so yeah we'll see we'll see how that part <laughs> will go and also it's just like I need to learn how to not edit while I'm writing because it's um, it's rather annoying that I'm stopping and like thinking 20 times this is this is gonna be a big like issue for me going forward and I'm pretty sure you're gonna notice it from the videos that I'm gonna make that this is a big part that I'm always like thinking 20 million different things and I'm not sure like which direction to go necessarily um, so it can take like a lot, of, a lot of time to sort of just focus on one idea and pursuing like this direction just because i'm thinking oh maybe it would be better that way this way and now we're gonna have a little bit of a break for lunch we have some chicken soup i have some uh, sandwiches some butter broads and we're gonna go and enjoy a little bit of the goofballs that are fairburn films Okay, so it's been quite an interesting day. Um, again, I was just sort of uh, uh, going back from my materials that I have written before. And um, yeah, I found that it's not as bad as I thought it would be, uh, which was first uh, surprising thing. But also I am I'm slightly disappointed that I didn't write more at the time, because right now it would be easier to kind of edit the materials and add more details and kind of restructure all of it and now I'm trying now I'm starting to understand why sort of writers and or whatever people like recommend sort of to dump basically everything that that that's in your head and don't filter anything and just like have it on the page because later when you come back to it like whatever week or month later or even like a year later it's going to be so much easier to actually edit stuff uh, rather than you know coming up again with the same st sort of story and stuff like that and be be sure that it's all consistent and, and stuff like that but actually yeah I feel like there's potential here which I actually I was legit scared before today because again I didn't touch this project for a long time and I legit got scared that it will be terrible, completely awful. Uh, but although it's not, you know, although first of all, it's a very short story and you know, not even half of it is written, but the things that are there, it's okay. It's okay and I'm more than happy with this. At least like certain moments, they legit put smile on my face and this is, as much as I can hope for anything, right? Because I can't guarantee that um, it will turn out to be great. I can't guarantee that um, any people will 
read it, I can't guarantee that people will buy it or anything like that. But what, what I can try to do is to do this sort of project, to write this little short book um, as best as I can. And so at least it would satisfy me. And at least if I gonna read it to myself, you know, later, whatever, to my kids maybe someday, um, at least I will feel satisfaction. That's that's the best I can do, and that's sort of the best I can hope for. And uh, hopefully, if I like it, maybe my test is not completely garbage. So hopefully, if I can write it to myself, basically, and I will like it, maybe I will be able to find out of billions of people who live on on, on this planet. Maybe there's going to be a few hundred or a few thousand with similar tastes with with similar taste um, to mine, so that's all I can hope for. So yeah, that's a, that was the first day. Again, there was not writing progress today. Uh, it was more of like recollection of ideas, of events, of like timeline and all of those things, um, which is good. And again, I'm trying to put myself into this headspace of that story, of that time, of that sort of universe if you can say that and um, we've done a good first step today which is nice and now i'm gonna go and edit the videos and try to upload it today thank you if you watch this video and uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel i would really appreciate it and uh, you know hop on this journey with me again i would really really appreciate it okay till the next time bye bye